Well, it's 2016, time for another real deal. We got the uh, latest weapons from Articat and from Skidoo. That's all we got this year, but we got some pretty good weapons. Um, Tom, what do you got for us? 850 uh, TNT, brand new motor. Um, 129, studded. Um, that's the only thing that's done to it. It's got three miles on it, on the stand, that's it. And I brought a, uh, a new ZR8000, it's also a 129. Um, it's also studded. It's got maybe one mile on it. I ran it up and down the track one time last night in the dark. And then uh, Speedworks was generous enough to give me one of their prototype mufflers, um, potentially making 15 horsepower. That's all that has on it. It is also studded. And then I've got a bone stock Thundercat as well. So I know everybody's been waiting to see how these do head to head. We're gonna do a speed run on them. And then uh, it's 50 degrees and it couldn't be worse conditions. So uh, we'll see how much time it takes to cool them off and then we'll see if uh, we'll do a head to head possibly after that. But we're at least gonna do a speed run and let everybody see how they go. This is the biggest weapons the factories have to offer, offer this year. So um, should be interesting. All right, folks, right now we're gonna take the uh, ZR800, uh, 8000, 2016, 129 with studs and we're gonna do radar run. Alright folks, uh, we got an 850 Skidoo coming up, uh, 129 with studs, and we are going a quarter mile uh, full speed, and Steve Livingston is, co is piloting all the snowmobiles. All right, folks, now we have Steve Livingston on the Thundercat. This is stock uh, with studs, not modified, and he's going to go a quarter mile. All right, folks, we got Steve Livingston on the Thundercat. Uh, this has exhaust system only and studs. got to see the uh, the difference between the sleds and our speed run um, it, it's like 60 65 degrees here and I want to explain the difference between this year and last year our speeds were higher last year um, Roy Oliver drove the sleds last year and he's easily a hundred pounds lighter than 250 pounds of American beef right here um, so that's that's a big difference and the sleds are like running with the brakes on in this crap that we're driving them on today um, but this is kind of what everybody wanted to see, stock Thundercat against the stock 850. Um, clearly there was no point in running that against the 8000. Um, so we, we're not, and we only got really one more chance because we had to wait an hour to drive these again. So uh, if we don't have a good run, I'm, I'm sorry, that's going to be the only run we're going to get a chance to get. And uh, for the pilot that him and his son said he watches all our videos from Southwest, if you can email me, I'll mail you a couple t-shirts. So uh, Tom, you got anything to add? No, it's going to be a good run. I think it's going to be pretty tight for as long as they both get good hole shots. I think you're going to see pretty tight for 500 feet. I'm expecting that the Thundercat's going to take the big end, but uh, I guess we're going to have to see. Everybody enjoyed what we just did with $60,000 worth of snowmobiles. Um, and everybody probably noticed my $10 helmet, 60 grand worth of sleds and $10 helmet. So uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed that show. It was fun for us to do it. Um, we had a few things to add. I'm going to, I'll weigh the cat pipe and I'll weigh the Speedworks pipe um, and we'll show you what that is. And Tom weighed both sleds before coming here. He can tell you what that is. The Thundercat out of the box with no fuel. Um, all assembled with the battery installed it was 596 pounds. The Skidoo, same scenario, all assembled, 
uh, no fuel with the battery installed was 511 pounds. So that gives you an idea of horsepower weight ratios and things like that. And as you can see, the Thundercat definitely has more power and it shows it on a racetrack. I'm sure the same kind of scenario you guys are gonna see in the field. Uh, 8, 850 holds a very good candle to this turbo though, I must say. Yeah, we um, a couple sleds the whole way and it stays right there. And on the top end, that's when he might gain. It'll give you guys a good idea uh, of uh, which sleds you want to buy this year or which ones you don't want to buy this year. But, you know, we, we wish we could test every sled we have, but there's not time enough and we can't afford it. So another thing also, <laughs> a little bit lighter than he is. Yeah, there's a diet so, coming soon. So take your last look at this. <laughs> I just wanted to give everybody a little extra information. Um, being Speedworks was nice enough to give me a prototype can that they had for this new Thundercat. Um, so I got the, brought my fish scale from home on the way up the stock one. Zoom in on that and see that. But that weighs 15. 15.58 pounds. Get this one off. And this one weighs eight and a half pounds exactly. Um, taking into consideration that this is the prototype, the stock one made, the, the one that they'll send out. The finished product probably will be later, but it probably won't be wrapped. And they'll have several models. But this is this is called the Stage One pipe. The Stage One pipe is a direct bolt-on. It needs no uh, ECU mods. Um, you just bolt on the pipe, and you grab an extra 10 to 15 horsepower as their claim. Um, I believe that claim because this sled was two miles an hour faster than the stock sled. So and that's about what it takes on my track. It's about 10 or 15 horse to grab another two miles an hour. Um, they make. They also make a stage two pipe that does require an ECU mod. So uh, that was another six or eight horse, according to Jeremy Gould, uh, over this one. Um, I looked up the cost on it, and there was several on there to go by. Um, it looked like it was about four hundred and fifty bucks. But you can go on Speedworks website and see for yourself. And these are available. For me at Livingston's, as soon as I saw how good they worked, I ordered up five of them right away. Um, Arctic Adventures, who was here with me yesterday, also ordered some, so you can buy them here, you can buy them at Arctic Adventures, or you can get them right from Speedworks or any other Speedworks, um, just, oh, shit, I fucked that up. <laughs> or any other Speedworks real, re <laughs> or any other Speedworks retailer all over the country.